Good afternoon. Welcome to the Gideon's Garage Safety Briefing. This is the Summer Fall 22 presentation. I uh, appreciate you being here. This will be a quick presentation. I'll go over some reminders for safety policies and procedures for our garage. Uh, we're having a great year in 2022. We've had no injuries, although we did have one very close call uh, that had to do with a rather heavy engine in my foot, but that's another story. We've had no intentional damage, no accidental damage to vehicles in 22, and we continue to have many families blessed by our ministry. I want to thank each and every one of you for your efforts to make the garage a success. So if you've done this training before, you know how this game works. You're going to grab a piece of paper, grab a pencil, there'll be three college mascots, and you'll write down the mascots. Um, and then once you've done that and completed watching this video, you send me an email at jmason2088 at gmail.com, list the three mascots, and just write that you agree to the policies in the briefing, and you'll get your new garage code. So we have some themes throughout this briefing. One is that we really want you to use the garage. That's what it's there for, and the more it's used, the better. Uh, we want you to fix vehicles, but we also want you to use it for ministry. This is a great way to invite men to our church family. Come on down to the garage. If you need help, reach out to another brother and have them down there with you. We also, another theme throughout this briefing is we want you to use it safely. We want you to protect yourself, and we also want you to protect our church and our ministry. And the third theme is while you're using the garage, make sure that you're considerate of your neighbors and other ministries here at Farley Community Church. So for access, these are our rules for access. Only active members of Farley Community Church will be allowed to use the garage outside of scheduled events. Non-church members, they must be accompanied at all times by a Farley Church member. Active members must agree to the safety and policy briefing every six months to get the door combination. That's what you're doing by watching this video. Um, and we ask that you complete the sign-in log every time you access the garage so there's a record of your use. Um, very important, I need to foot stomp this, no man works alone. You must always have another person with you to work in the garage. This is to protect you. This is to protect Friday Community Church. This person uh, could be your spouse, um, it could be a friend, it could be another man. It could even be a child, provided that the child is old enough to, uh, to call for help in need. But we need to make sure that no one is ever working in a garage by themselves. Note that there's a bathroom key available by the entry door. Uh, it's attached to a big wrench. And uh, this time of year, the bathroom is definitely not winterized. But as we get closer to Christmas time, that may happen as well. So uh, let's talk about personal protection equipment, PPE. Uh, we provide the following equipment for you. We have an eye wash station. Um, we have uh, latex gloves. We have safety glasses. We have a rubber apron. And we have two ABC fire extinguishers. Please let Tony or myself know immediately if any of this equipment has been used up or it's missing. We want to make sure that it's always available for your safe use. Which brings us to our first mascot, and this is the Fighting Pickle from the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. All you have to write down is Fighting Pickle in North Carolina. That's plenty. Don't feel like you have to write the whole thing. I don't know if they have a football team. I imagine if they did, it may be not it wouldn't be that great. But anyways, that's the Fighting Pickle from North Carolina School of the Arts. Cleanliness. We are doing a lot better in the garage of keeping the garage clean. I appreciate your efforts in that. Please do everything you can to leave the garage in better shape than when you found it. Uh, make sure all your equipment is turned off, the air compressors, the fans, the heaters, they should all be turned off. If you use a rechargeable tool, return it to the charging station and plug it in so it works for the next person. Uh, we ask you to, of course, close the rolling doors, and they uh, have deadbolts that lock automatically. And then you also need to turn the deadbolt on the Schlag lock that's on, on the entry door. Uh, we also ask that you keep the fences closed, and there's uh, bungee cords that are on there, and that helps to keep the fences from swinging open. Uh, want a foot stop that um, if you drain a fluid, whether it's engine oil, transmission fluid, power stream, whatever it is, please put it in a container and take it with you. We do not have an oil removal service. Um, we also ask that you take large trash items with you, even if it will fit in the trash can. If it's big and heavy, please take it with you so um, it's easier for those that have to pull the trash. Please do not put any automotive fluids down the sink and do not store vehicles or parts outside the garage. We will work with you for overnight storage. That is, that is uh, 
something that's very possible but it's not guaranteed, just talk to me and we'll work out that schedule. And if you have a complete vehicle that you need to store temporarily here, you can put it in one of the spaces by the dumpster in the church parking lot. Pleat, we ask that you return tools to the storage location after each use. Um, if you need to borrow a tool, say you need like our little small air uh, compressor, your little pancake air compressor, just let me know that you have it. I'll make a note of it and bring it back. That's not a problem. Just don't take anything from the garage without communicating that. And uh, almost every garage day, we have a list going of tools that we need. So if you see something that would be a good addition to the garage, we have funds to buy tools. Just let me or Tony know and we'll get them ordered. And now we're at our second uh, obscure mascot. This is Speedy, Speedy the Geoduck from Evergreen State College. I have no idea what a Geoduck is, but apparently this one is Speedy. So there's Speedy the Geoduck, Evergreen State College. Okay, moving on to our lifts. Uh, you can see some lifting disasters. If you have ever, uh, you can just Google or on YouTube or whatever, just uh, car lift disasters, there's plenty of them. We have not had any disasters, thankfully, in our garage. Thank you for, for using the lift safety. Please be aware that you need to center the load in both directions, both front to back and left to right, and that puts less wear and tear on the lifts. Um, we also have a scissor lift that's available, and there's a manual uh, for that. It's available on the men's ministry website for Farley Community Church. If you're going to use a two-post lift, you have to get a sign-off from Jeff Schlegel. He is our lift trainer. If you have previously been signed off uh, from Jeff on the lift, then your previous sign-off is still valid. Uh, sometimes if you haven't used a lift in a while, you might want a refresher. Just grab me or Mike or Tony. We'll be glad to, to, sh uh, to give you a quick refresher training. Not a problem. And again, thank you for your safe use of the lifts. Uh, noise, we ask that you observe all City of Huntsville noise ordinances. We have not had any complaints about this, so that is great. Just realize that those houses are very close to the garage, and we want to be good neighbors to our community. Um, here's our third mascot. This one is Wheezy the Bull Weevil from the University of Arkansas at Monticello. So all you got to write is just Wheezy or Bull Weevil, and that's the uh, University of Arkansas. So there's our, our final mascot. So um, wrapping up here, uh, these are the remaining dates uh, for, for the car clinics. Uh, we have uh, the next one, of course, will be July 9th. Uh, remember that the car care clinic is the community-focused event, and we need all the help we can get. We're going to talk about that a little more in a second. And then Open Garage Day is the Farley-focused event, where we still help community members, um, but we um, also uh, help the Farley members as well. We have a special thanks this time. Becky Frank, many of y'all know Becky um, from our church. And she has an insurance policy through Thrivent Financial. And she took the time to write a grant and get us funding that we are going to use to buy um, some different safety products like gloves and cleaners and also some motor oil from our patrons. And I just really appreciate Becky taking the time to do that. So if you, if you see Becky, please give her a high five and tell her thank you very much. Uh, we'll be getting that stuff in the garage right away. Thank you, Becky. A um, couple of notes on the car care clinic and open garage days. I kind of hinted at this earlier, but um, the demand for our services, it's only increasing with the uh, gas prices going up and the inflation and the economy. Uh, people need help. And we actually, sadly, have had to turn away a few people because we haven't had enough workers. So I know everybody's busy on Saturday. I get it. I'm busy on Saturdays also. But if there's any way that you can help on the car clinic days and the open garage days, it, it was, it's greatly appreciated. Um, a couple of reminders, um, we are unable to perform airbag work, so if somebody asks about that, we do not do that in the garage. Um, try to keep only active workers under the vehicles on the lifts. That's a, our, our lifts are very safe, but we just don't want to take any extra risk for someone uh, who's not working on a vehicle to get hurt. Make sure that all lug nuts are torqued to spec, don't guess. Um, we have a set, two sets actually, of torque sticks that limit the amount of torque you can put on a lug nut. But still, use the computers that are in the garage, look it up in all data, find out what the spec is, use the torque wrench, make sure it's right. I uh, want to caution you, there's a picture of our scissor lift there on the screen, and you can see in the bottom the yellow pads. Believe it or not, those can be extremely slick, so be careful slipping, uh, step, slipping on that. That was a, a slip of the word. Um, uh, they can be very slick, especially if it's raining. Um, remind you about um, etiquette. Please don't talk bad about the cars. I know the cars come in. Sometimes they smell. Sometimes they smell like illegal substances. Um, it's easy to, to horse around with the guys, but we don't ever want to hurt someone. 
because what we are there for is ministry. We, we fix cars, but we're really there to care for people. So please be aware of that. And uh, in that same vein, please help help all of us to pray. Uh, a couple times people, we fix their car and then they get out before we can pray for them. That's the whole reason that we're there. The garage is a way that we can do ministry. We can share our love for Jesus Christ with people of our church and also people of our community. So please help us to keep a focus on that and pray, pray for the folks. And last and certainly not least, do be sure to thank Chef Drea. She does an awesome job. I always look forward to what she brings for us and she works so hard. So you got to thank Becky and you got to thank Drea. Thank you. So last slide here. Um, again, as a reminder, uh, you need to send an email to me. There's my email address. It's on the screen, jmason2088 at gmail.com. List the three mascots and say you agree to the, uh, the, the, the rules of the garage and the policies and you'll get your new code. Um, you'll get your code back via email, and the new code will be valid July 5th, and we'll take the old code down on July 15th. Let me say those dates again, because you're probably writing them down. The new code will start on July 5th, and the old code will be removed on July 15th. Reminder, if you don't have a two-post lift sign-off, come see Jeff. If you have a previous sign-off, it's still valid, and now you should have an access code. Thanks for all that you do for our ministry. Hope you have a great day. God bless you.